Hello there you guys, welcome to another one of my live videos and today I'm just going to be officially um, updating you on some more uh, current uh, latest news. So big, big breaking news uh, coming out of the press now that we all know that Manchester United to address their deficiencies, you know, um, in currently um, our back line, um, as we all know. And the defenders, you know, we have been linked with, you know, now on our list is Milan, Inter Milan, Milan Skriniar, Colour Barley. I know a lot of Manchester United fans would like, like uh, Colour Barley uh, to come into the club. Uh, we know Toby Adewerel has been mentioned, Eddie Metellio um, has been mentioned. But a name that I've been updating you on quite a few times is uh, Costas Manala, Manalas, uh, or Malolas, uh, however you um, pronounce it. I think it's Costas Manolas, in my, I say it like that, but some say uh, Manolas. It's Costas Man Manolas, uh, he's a Roma centre-back, uh, reportedly he has release clause around 36 million euros and reportedly according to a report uh, from Greek I've just currently read it says Man United are in talks to uh, to get the, uh, to get the player um, in the summer uh, reportedly the reports coming out um, of the media yesterday actually suggesting out that Man, uh, Man United were the favourites uh, to sign him um, in this January transfer window uh, currently uh, Manchester United are working with his current representative Riley Ola of currently as uh, getting the deal of the line and reportedly Manchester United have held negotiations with Ry uh, Riley Ola um, um, over getting a 32 million deal of land. I think his release clause is 32 or some million pounds sterling, and I think his release clause in euros is 36 million euros um, as well as the player. Uh, reportedly, you know, um, Riley Ola, I think he recently hired last year, uh, did cost us mana loss. Uh, uh, he um, hired him last year as his new representative, so Riley Ola is currently a um, the players are representative, um, as we all know. So there's currently a basically a tweet here. Um, it's in the Daily Star. It says Manchester United is really interested in Costas Manolas uh, for the next season and talks with his agent. So he's had discussion. You know, Man United have been discussions with Riley Ola, his current agent. Um, Man United is ready to the clause of 36 million euros and offered six million a year uh, for him um, as well. So Man United are reportedly really interested in him, but they won't potentially uh, get him um, until uh, this summer. Uh, reportedly, so Riley Ola, Man United are working with Riley Ola um, on the deal. He has a 32 million release clause uh, does the play. As I said, he's reportedly been a very, very uh, good player uh, for Roma. Um, he's an ex-Athens. He's an ex-Olympiacos um, player, um, I think, as well. Um, he is aged 27 years of age. He's like over six foot, so he's very, very tall. He's reportedly a very, very good centre-back. You know, he can play deep. He's disciplined to play deep. He looks very, very good. His versatility, his versatility um, is supposed to be a very, very good um, is the players um, as well. But according to yesterday, as I read in the media, Manchester United were favoured by the bookies uh, to reportedly um, sign uh, the player um, in this January transfer window. But according to the recent reports that have come out, reports have just come out from Greek saying Man United are in talks to get him in the summer, uh, cost us man a loss. But reportedly, yeah, he's only 27 years of age, so defend do, do you think, you know, potentially he could uh, solve um, our defensive issues um, at the back? Do you think he'd look good as al alongside Bay and, you know, Lindelof and all that? And we do have other options at the back as well. But um, as I said, I know a lot of Manchester United fans would want Colour Barley because obviously he's highly experienced. He's a really great central defender, um, as we all currently know. And, you know, a lot of United fans would like Colour Barley as well. No, but I think it's unlikely, that it's, it's unlikely that Man United are going to get a deal over the line in this January transfer window. Um, for Colour Barley, um, as I currently said. But yeah, he says here on his Twitter, Manchester United is really interested in Costa's man a loss for the next season. As I just said to you, they've talked with his agent, which is Riley Ola, and Man United is ready to pay the, the clause of £32 million pounds sterling 36 million euros and offered six million a year uh, for him um as well um so yeah that's the latest news on that so man united are working on the deal with riley ola man united have been in discussions with riley ola who currently you know is the player's um agent cost us mana loss i think he recently hired him back in december was it last year um or something like that so the current player recently did uh change agent agent uh, did cost him loss. and obviously you know um you know riley ola's obviously worked on um riley ola's worked on previous deals as well you know including you know, including Ibrahimovic, Mkhitaryan, Paul Pogba and Romelu Lukaku um, as well uh, as uh, Riley Ola. I don't think potentially he's got a great relationship with the club to be quite honest with you, you know, especially when we had Jose Mourinho, he hasn't got a great relationship with Chelsea, you know, in the past couple of seasons he hasn't had, you know, a great relationship uh, with Chelsea, so potentially do you think he'll address um, our defensive issues, you know, where this cost us Manolas, he is six foot, as I said, um, he's 27 years of age, so he's still got quite a lot of years ahead of him, um, as I said, you know, he maybe wants to play for a better team that's cost us no loss. He may want to uh, come and um, experience the Premier League. Um, as I currently uh, said, you may want to come and experience the Premier League and play amongst good players, um, as we all know. But Man United are working on the deal with uh, Riley Ola. Man United are in talks to get him in the summer. I don't see why we wouldn't want to get him now because potentially we do uh, need a defender now. Um, you know, potentially, you know, as we all currently are because we've had injury problems this season defensively. Obviously, Smalling's still out. He's good there as a backup option. Rojo's still out, but he can play in numerous positions um, at the back. 
back and Marcus Rojo um, as well. Um, potentially, we've got Bay, who's been in and out of the team this season. He's hardly played, but obviously suspended, but he has still got great potential. Lindelof's played very, very uh, well this season, you know, to be quite fair. So, potentially, we do need reinforcements at the back. And as I did say, I still think, you know, we need a potentially a centre defensive midfielder, you know, that can potentially, you know, um, uh, you know that's fast and tenacious, um, as I did currently say to you. But, um, I know a lot of Manchester United fans, you know, would like Colour Barley um, into the club, um, as we all know, because Colour Barley is a great, great defender. And there's a lot, a lot of great central defenders out there that are, that do play to the highest level. You know, you've got Diego Gordon, who's a great central defender. You've got Sergio Ramos, who's a great defender. You've got uh, Rafael Varane, um, who's obviously a top-class uh, central defender, um, as we um, all currently know. But um, as I said, you know, Colour Barley would be a great, great signing for us. He's under contract with Napoli till 2023. Ed Woodward has been in discussions with the Napoli officials in the process so far. Manchester United have had three bids turned down. The recent one was £95 million pounds, and he's rated around £100 million pounds at least, his colour value, because, you know, he's a great, great sensational player. He adapts every area of his game very, very tenacious. He's got a lot of tenacity about his player, very, very good in the air, and his versatility is very, very good. And as I did say to you, Napoli only paid £7 million pounds for him from Jenker. As we all know, he did recently sign a new deal, but this doesn't include a release clause, um, as we all know. But the Napoli president has confirmed, potentially, that he will not be sold in this January uh, transfer window. I think we've only got a chance of getting a deal over the line for Colour Barley um, in the summer. There's some bookmakers think, thinking you know, Man United can get a deal over the line uh, for uh, Colour Barley uh, this month. Uh, reportedly, but he would de definitely, you know, address our defensive issues. And I think, you know, he, he does cost a lot of money. It's like he's going to be at least in the excess of a hundred million pounds. But Costas Manolas, you know, 32, 36 million euro release cost, 32 million uh, pounds sterling. Um, as I said, you know, that's pretty cheap, you know, of Costas Manolas. But reportedly, he's been a very, 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 very good pr predominant uh, player um, in Roma's centre back, uh, in Roma's defensive line. He's reportedly, his performances um, have been very, very good. But um, said, I don't know much about the player. Reportedly, Man United are working on the deal uh, with Riley. Liola, um, as I said, but I know a lot of Man United fans would love Colour Barley, you know, to come to the club because he's 27 years of age, he's actually the same age as Costas Manolas, but he's potentially much, much better than Costas Manolas. Costas Manolas is nowhere near on the same levels as Colour Barley's, the Diego Gordon's, all the Rafael Vans, all the Sergio Ramos's. But as I said, I think any player that Solskjaer, if he does get any players in this January window, will do very, very well and they will flourish under Ali Gunnar Solskjaer. And I have confidence, but you know, the defensive line is the one I want Manchester United to strengthen up in. But Colour Barley, as I said, suggestions have stirred up the the other day um, or the other week as I did update you with that Instagram post Popper talking about his um, talking about his uh talking about supporting him and his racial abuse uh, that he uh, currently has uh, suffered as well. And I think he said, see you soon, bro. And that could be suggestion signs, you know, that Colour Barley does want to come to play for uh, Manchester United. And he would be a great, great central defender, um, as we all know, because he's currently top of our list now. And obviously, we only got three players last summer. Mourinho didn't get didn't get back. The board weren't back in Mourinho on some of the signings, you know, he wanted to get in. And we only ended up getting three signings uh, last summer. So Mourinho was actually frustrated with a lack of chance of activity, you know, um, last summer because the potential of the board weren't backing him. But um, as I said, um, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer actually recently come out saying he's going to have discussions uh, with Ed Woodward about this uh, current window, did Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. But he also did say, he, from his perspective, he thinks it's unlikely that Manchester United are going to make any signings in this window. He says it's unlikely. He doesn't expect Manchester United um, to make any signings because for over £400 million pounds being spent um, on this team. But as I did say, I still think there's certain areas where we do need to strengthen up. But, you know, Colour Barley, you know, would be um, absolutely sensational if we got him. And we know potentially Milan, uh, one of two, uh, Ed Woodward has identified two potential transfer targets on our wish list, which is Milan Skriniar and which is Colour Barley um, as well. And Milan Skriniar is not a bad player. You know, he's very, very young in his prime as well. He's an Inter Milan player. As I said, he's Savlaki and Inter Milan paid £20 million pounds for him. Um, he's been in Inter Milan since 2017 and since then I think he's made like 60 odd appearances uh, for Inter Milan. He was the best under 21 player for Slovakia, you know, back in 2016 uh, was Milan Skriniar as well. But Manchester United, of course, um, have been interested in him. We've still obviously got, I think his fossil men's still out on loan and Tuan Zebi um, is still out um, on loan as well. But I think we still potentially do need signings um, in our squad and we've had a lot of injuries um, this season um, as well. But I think Torvi Alderweireld, you know, would be really, really good for us, you know, um, to be quite honest because Torvi Alderweireld is a very, very good, you know, he's a good player. I said I have reservations about him. He is now 29, so he is aging up. He has lost the pace a little bit, um, uh, Torvi Alderweireld. But we know that the Tottenham have extended his current contract till 2020. He is Premier League proven, but uh, they've extended his contract till 2020. But this does include a 25 million release clause, um, as this has confirmed. Tottenham know how much of a central player he is, but Tottenham have got a very, very good squad. And 
Tottenham know how much of an important player Toga Adewerald is, but they have other options with Davinson Sanchez, Chaurier and uh, the Tongan um, as well, uh, the Tottenham. But as I said, there's been no sign of Adewerald signing a new contract. As I said, Man United were in discussions last summer to get Adewerald. But, you know, I don't think we'll get him in this January window anyway because he's potentially available for £25 million pounds, um, in the summer um, as well because that's his uh, current release clause. But I think he can be a world-class central defender. And I think Torga Adewerald would be a good leader um, in our back line. But I think, you know, that would be a summer signing if we were to get him. Colour Barley would potentially uh, be a summer signing because the Napoli president's confirmed, you know, they're not willing to do any business um, in this coming uh, transfer window. But um, as I said, you know, Costas, Mano Costas Manolos, um, as I said, Man United are working with a deal uh, with Riley um, as we all know, Manchester United have been talked with Riley Ola. <laughs> well, there's a report here from Stadler's House so it says, Yeah, Riley Ola's held talks with Man United over potentially getting a 32 million deal over the line, cost of mana loss, but it uh, won't be um, until the summer. Uh, reportedly, so it says in the Greek report, said Man United have been talked. Man United have been talks to get Costas Manor last um, this summer. Why Why not in this January transfer window? There were reports coming out, I think, from the Manchester Evening News and that saying, you know, some of the bookies have favoured Man United to actually sign him this month, uh, Costas Manor last, um, as we um, all currently know. But um, as I said, you know, he's six foot, he's 27 years of age and he's uh, a Roma centre-back and reportedly um, his performances uh, have been uh, very, very good indeed. So reportedly Manchester United have been linked with him. We know Manchester United, of course, have been linked with uh, Eddie uh, Mitellio, um as well, um, as we all know. He's a Porto centre-back, he's very, very young, he's 20 years of age, he's very, very young in his prime, being a full Brazilian international since, well, he made his debut last year, as we all know, and he's Porto only got him uh, last summer, um, as we all couldn't know, Porto got him last summer, and I think Real Madrid have uh, reportedly uh, been interested in um, him um, as well, Eddie Mattelli, and he only signed for Porto last summer, he's got a 40-odd million release clause as a player, he can play as a centre-back or full-back, and he can actually uh, play um, as a defensive uh, midfielder as well, but you yeah, there again, Milan Skriniar can play as a centre-back, and he can also play as a defensive uh, midfielder, uh, can Milan Skriniar, but Ed Woodward um, has confirmed that um, potentially um, Ed Woodward's confirmed that um, they are on his wish list. Uh, they are on his uh, list, uh, Milan Skriniar and, and Colour Barley. And I know a lot of Man United fans, you know, would like Colour Barley to come in, but I, I really can't see a deal um, happening, you know, to be quite honest with you, you know, um, in this January transfer window. But yeah, Riley Ola, Man United are, you know, working on the deal with Riley Ola to get a deal over the line for Costas Manolas. Riley Ola's held discussions with Manchester United, Man United have been talks to get Costas Manolas. Um, Costas Manolos or Manolos, however you pronounce it, um, in the summer, um, as I currently said. But, you know, I still said we need a centre defensive midfielder. Um, as I currently said, we do need a centre defensive midfielder that's fast and tenacious. Um, as I said, maybe we still need a winger. Um, as I said, so we need a couple of signings, you know, in that team because I don't think the team's good enough to win the league um, at the moment. But potentially, um, as I currently said, I've read some more reports up um, as well. Uh, this is regarding Diego Gordon. That Diego Gordon, he's, he's a really, really good central defender, as we all know. He's 32 years of age now. Of course, um, he's never ever played. Um, in the Premier League um, as Diego Gordon. He's been in Spain, you know, the majority of his career as Diego Gordon. He's been an ex-Manchester United target, um, as we all know. Manchester United were linked to him during the course last summer. Man United obviously were in, Man United were on the brink of getting Diego Gordon um, last summer, um, as we all know, but a, de a deal didn't fall through. But now Diego Gordon is, is confirmed. He has agreed to actually leave Atletico Madrid because there has been no sign of him signing um, a new contract uh, with Atletico Madrid. So he's failed to agree a new con with Atletico Madrid. So he's going to be set to leave. He's going to he's going to come Madrid on a free transfer in the summer because he comes to an end of his contract term in the summer. And it looks reportedly like he's going to be um going to Inter Milan. Uh, is the play so he's going to be going to play in Italy. You know, of Inter Milan. I think reportedly Inter Milan uh, Inter Milan have reportedly um offered him around a two year deal. Uh, reportedly, but Diego Gordon as I said, a great great central defender. Um, as we all know, you'd only get a couple of years out of him anywhere. You know, he's thirty two. You know, thirty two years of age now. But as I said. He had three years with Villarreal. He's you no, know, he spent like nine seasons uh, with Atletico Madrid uh, as well um, as a player. So he looks like uh, reportedly he's going to be going to Inter Milan on a free um, in the summer. Uh, reportedly um, as well. Um, but as I said, there's still reinvestments needed in the team at Manchester United, um, as we all know. As I did say, you know, we've got five wins now out of five um, under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, um, as we all know. 16 goals scored, you know, Ronald Lukaku scored three goals in his uh, last three games, you know, which is uh, very, very impressive in his. I did say, you know, Ronald Lukaku will dramatically improve, um, as I currently said, he will improve with Lukaku. You know, he, he struggled with consistency in form this season, um, as we all currently know. He hasn't, you know, played to his potential um, as Ronald Lukaku this season, but he's Premier League proven his normal scoring goals in the league, and he will 
will dramatically improve them under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. And there's obviously been vast improvements in the team since Solskjaer's come in. Um, as we all know, the team playing with confidence, the winning mentality is there. Solskjaer's got the attacking mentality. You know, he likes the whip. He did say he was going to rotate. He was going to give everybody the chance, um, including the youth, you know, which he has done. He wants the players to express themselves. And they have done that um, so far, um, as we all currently know. But um, as I did say, for me, Rashford is mainly in number nine. Uh, I think he's better in the number nine position than he is on the left. He can play on the left or through the middle, but I think Rashford's better in the number nine position, in my opinion. I think Pogba is, you know, better in the number ten position. I know he can play in other positions and that, but I think Pogba's, you know, you know, he's better in the number ten position, in my opinion, just behind the striker. But Rashford, twenty-one years of age, he's nearly made one hundred and fifty appearances now for Manchester United. I think he actually has, or he's nearly made one hundred and fifty appearances. As I said, he's been a Manchester United player, you know, since the age of seven, um, as Marcus Rashford, um, as we all currently know. But um, as I said, Solskjaer's got the winning mentality. He's got this team playing. You know, he's become Solskjaer's become the first manager. You know, to win five games out of five. His first five games out of five. You know, since the great uh, Sir Matt Busby, um, as well, which is um, a great, great achievement, um, as we all know. But Solskjaer knows the chaplains of the club. He knows the culture of the club. Solskjaer's been discussing, you know, potentially that he'd love to get the job on a full-time basis, and it would be hard for him, you know, to turn. You know, it would be um, hard for him to leave Manchester United because, you know, Solskjaer loves the club. He knows the culture of the club. He knows the traditions of the club, and he knows what he's doing. Is Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and he loves this club because as I said he was a great great player uh, for 11 years was Ole Gunnar Solskjaer you know scored in 1999 final you know he was a, from 1996 you know he was a great player from 1996 to 2007 so he had great 11 years with Man United he won six Premier Leagues and um, other trophies um, as well you know he's, he hasn't had great, a great man jail experience you know with Cardiff he got relegated with them he did win two Norwegian titles with Molden that but you know, I think he's going to do a good job at Manchester United, um, as I currently said. But he says it's unlikely that Man United will make any signings in this window, um, as I currently said. But there's still, you know, you know, certain areas in the team, you know, that uh, do need addressing, um, as I currently said. And we know, obviously, um, you know, the club are still recruiting to get a full-time manager in um, at the end of the season on a permanent basis. And, you know, Pochettino is the number one. Reportedly, recently in the last couple of days, you know, Ed Woodward has been in discussions with Pochettino about, uh, uh, he's been in discussions with Ed Woodward about transfer talks of who to get in in the summer. And reportedly, Pochettino indicated to get James Madison in. Um, he, ind he indicated Man United to sign James Madif Madison for £70 million pounds, uh, from Leicester. Uh, reportedly, he's also been in discussions with Manchester United anywhere as Mucho Pochettino. But uh, reportedly, um, you know, he's number one favourite to come in um, at the end of the season is Mitchell Pochettino. We know Zinedine Zidane um, has also been mentioned as well. We know there's a few uh, backup options uh, that have been mentioned um, as well um, in the process, but it's reportedly looking like it will be Pochettino who's going to be number one. Is Ed Woodward's number one choice to come in if Solskjaer doesn't get the job um, on a full time basis? But I just don't see Pochettino leaving, as we all know, he's fully committed to Tottenham, he's happy with Tottenham, he's got a good he's got he's got a good squad, you know, as Marich is as a he's got a good squad in that Tottenham team as Richard or Pochettino. And as I did currently say to you guys, you know, Pochettino's Premier League proven, but as I said, he's never won out in terms of silverware, um, as we all know, um, as Mitchell Pochettino. He's been a Premier League managing since two thousand nine. He's been managing since two thousand nine. He's only spent fifty million pounds at Tottenham since twenty fourteen. And we know it would cost, you know, the club £40 million to hire him in, hire him in anywhere um, at the end of the season, um, as we all currently know. And we could save that £40 million and get a signing um, on the current board. But he understands the philosophy, does Pochettino. He understands the Premier League, um, as we all know. But he's, you know, reportedly, you know, number one choice, um, as we all currently know. And there's been... Other reports coming out as well, you know, potentially in the last couple of days I've been reading, as I think um, I've already updated you on that reportedly, um, you know, Pochettino said he would, he'd love to win the Champions League with Tottenham one day, he said it's Champions League, not Cups that keep you in a job, he also mentioned that, and he said Tottenham do probably have to sell to buy in this January transfer window, as he did admit, but he did say regarding Christian Eriksen, you know, Pochettino knows how much of an essential player he is for Tottenham, he blatantly, he blatantly come out, uh, did Pochettino, um, and he potentially said he's unsure about... Um, his current future, um, Christian Eriksen's. He said it would be fantastic if he com committed his future and he'd love Christian Eriksen to sign a new deal because he's only got 18 months left term on his current contract term as the player. But um, as I said, you know, he would be maybe one of the players he'd recommend to come to Old Trafford in the summer if Pochettino was to uh, get recommended, you know, to come into the job um, on a full-time basis. But Christian Eriksen, reports have been coming out in the last couple of 
couple of days saying Man United are favourites to go on a signer, Christian Eriksen, um, in the summer. Christian Eriksen's a Tottenham player, um, as I said. You know, he's been at Tottenham since like 2013, has he? You know, Tottenham paid 11.5 million for him. He's an ex Ajax player, you know, when he was young in his prime. I think he won three Eredivisie titles, you know, uh, with Ajax as well. Uh, did Christian Eriksen. He, um, he's also won Tottenham uh, Player of the Year award. He's won Danish Football Player of the Year award three times. He's actually, the records, he's become the first uh, player to win three consecutive consecutive Danish Football of the Year awards. Also, he's got a record of the most goals scored in the Premier League by um, a Danish uh, player um, as well um, as Christian Eriksen. He is a good uh, midfielder. You know, reportedly, he's a very, very good midfielder. Premier League proven, um, as I currently have said. But um, as I said, yeah, so there's been reports um, coming out um, about that um, as well. But I still think that there's improvements um, needed in the team. We've had injury problems this season. We've still got a lot of players, you know, coming to end of the contract, you know. As I did say to you, I think Fellaini, as a, I don't see how he fits in the new Man United regime, you know, to be quite honest with you. Um, you know, I think Damien could leave um, as well. And, you know, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't, you know, I think Damien could leave as well. Um, in my opinion, maybe Valencia doesn't have a long-term future here because he's now 33 years old and he's been at the club since 2009. He's been here like a decade, made over 300 appearances, um, as we all know. And his representative has been discussing, uh, Valencia's representative has been discussing, you know, about his current future with Manchester United. Obviously, he hasn't hardly played this season because obviously Ashley Young has been um, our preferred uh, right-back choice, uh, as we are more currently know. So he could be potentially um, leaving um, as well. So, in my opinion, you know, potentially it wasn't a good performance yesterday against Reading, but it's five wins out of five. It was a lacklustre performance, you know, potentially from our second 11. Um, as we all know, we're in the fourth round of the FA Cup. Um, as objective this season is to get get into the top four. So, my expectations this year is to get us back up there competing with the likes of the Manchester City and with the likes of Liverpool um, and all that. And our objective is this season to get into the top four. And top four is definitely still alive because potentially we want Champions League football for next season. That's the most important thing because I know we're not going to win the Champions League. Any chance of us getting any silverware this season um, is there going to be the FA Cup, um, in my opinion, because, you know, that's the only chance we've ever got. So I do think, you know, we've got a chance of the FA Cup. We have won the FA Cup 12 times, um, as we all know. But um, as I said, you know, I think we're going to do very, very well um, under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. But it was a lot of performance against Reading. But as I said, it was a second. It was our second eleven, um, as we all know. Solskjaer made nine changes into the game. It put a lot of young players um, in the team um, as well. So you know. It was our second eleven. It was a lackluster performance, you know, from a second eleven. And Solskjaer did say you can't expect expect fancy. You can't ask for fancy football every week. But he said it, it was actually a team, though, you know, that I've, that I've never played together um, as an eleven. So potentially that's probably why, you know, there were probably some players that you know that were struggling with match fitness um, and all that. Reading did play well, you know, to be quite fair. But um, as I said, you know, Lukaku three goals in three games now. Sanchez two assists, you know, in two games as well. Um, but yeah, um, you know, it was it it wasn't our full strength team, you know, we currently had out because obviously Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is resting for the Tottenham game and obviously Tottenham um is gonna be the tester, um, as we are more currently know. Um Anyway, but um, as I've been updating you today on some more chance foods with Chelsea and Arsenal um, and all that, I've already um, updated you on that um, this morning. But the big, big breaking news about uh, this video is is Co uh, Costas Manolos. Uh, reportedly, I think, he, as I did say, I think he recently hired Riley Hall as, as his agent. I think it was last year sometime. So he's only recently, I think, just changed agents. But yeah, Riley Ola represents him now. Reportedly, Man United are in discussions uh, with Riley Ola. Well, Riley Ola's whole talk for Manchester United over getting a 32 million deal over the line for Costas Manolos. Uh, reportedly, and potentially he's the next Athens Olympiakos player. He's 27 years of age. As I said, he is Greek. He's six foot, and reportedly he's very, very disciplined at the back because he can, he, he can, you know, he plays deeper, and his versatility is reportedly supposed to be very, very um, good as well. And potentially, would you say that's a bargain? You know, 32 million pounds for him. That's his release clause. 32 million pounds as a player, and reportedly Man United have been talks to get him um, in the summer. Uh, reportedly, but Riley always worked on other deals. You know, uh, with Man United, you know, Ibrahimovic, Lukaku. Pogba, either him, Vigil Kaku, Pogba, and uh, Mikatarian um, as well. Um, I currently think, but yeah, Man United um, are in talks, um, as I currently said. So, anywhere, drop your comments, slides below on the channel. Um, if you do consider uh, subscribing to the channel, as always, I will be back later on. So, take care, God bless, guys, and I'll see you all again very, very soon.